What's going on guys, Eternal Wind back with another Ghost of Tsushima video and today we are going to cover my anticipated uh, patch 2.18 assassin build. Now this build is going to combine the power of both Toxic Vanish as well as maximizing our status effect and fire damage to absolutely destroy everything. This is a phenomenal Injo's build. Um, and is only just now available through patch 2.18 so let's go ahead and cover it right off the bat again moon katana now typically every time you see me run a moon katana i have stagger damage on there um, again i think stagger damage is very underrated but because we're not using the blow gun I think that you're actually going to get more out of Oni damage than stagger damage because your Toxic Vanish, while it will stagger like uh, some of the scrubbier Mongols, you're going to be able to kill them regardless of whether or not you have stagger damage. It's a wasted stat, I think, for this particular build, but I love it for the blowgun. So we've opted for Oni damage. Um, in case you guys aren't aware... Oni damage is literally all damage against an Oni. It could be an ultimate, a melee, ranged, fire, poison, ghost weapon, and even melee stagger damage. You actually do more stagger damage to Oni by having Oni damage on there. Um, but we are rocking Moon Master and Poison Blade. And then to keep us topped off, because I think it is absolutely pointless to run an Injo's build... Uh, without having the ability to heal at all, <laughs> you're basically crippling your damage and wasting a legendary at that point. So we're using Forbidden Medicine for this to keep us topped off. And then we're going Blast Radius to hit as many people as possible with our bombs. Status effect damage because it increases both our fire and our poison damage. And then obviously Black Powder Bomb, um, which is going to absolutely nuke stuff with this build. Um... Then, the Mac Daddy of them all. Look at that bad boy of Injo's Remorse. Now, for this particular one, you can throw Oni damage on there instead of fire damage. But I love having fire damage on there uh, on top of Fire Master. Because when you drop your Caltrops, because as you see at the bottom, I have Caltrops with fired up. And those black powder bombs, with all this extra status effect and fire damage those things are going to destroy waves it is unbelievable how much damage you can do um but if you want a more overall uh slightly more well-rounded build if you put oni damage uh instead of fire damage you can get more uh damage like through your ultimate um your assassinations against oni uh, your melee against Oni, your Toxic Vanish against Oni. Um, but I wanted to do something new with patch 2.18 and with the increase to fire damage percentage from 12 to 20. I wanted to rock it. And it works very well. And then we have Toxic Vanish Radius, Fire Master, and Chain Vanish. And to keep our uh, Toxic Vanish up as much as humanly possible, we're rocking the Spirit Kunai. Now, I actually don't have Ghost Weapon Damage on here, but I do have it on my Caltrop. So that with Injo's Remorse will give you a 35% increase in damage for your Ghost Weapons. And then you'll do 45% more damage with Oni Damage. 55% if you get it twice instead of Fire Damage. Um, but I, I feel like it's overkill. So to maximize my, my, uh, my status effect damage... We've gone for status effect duration, um, and then cooldown on kill, of course, to get it back as fast as possible to keep just circling and cycling through our, our ghost weapons and our class ability. And then we end with Caltrops. Um, I've always loved Caltrops on the Ronin, but I didn't feel like they were extremely viable uh, on <laughs> any other character, really. But I'm now rocking them on three of my characters, which is crazy. Um... The fact that they gave us munitions is awesome. It's not quite as good as Smoke Bomb. And if you want, you can run Smoke Bomb because you can get Stealth Attack uh, damage on there. Your Stealth Attack, even with Injo's being max HP, is not going to do a ton of damage. 
you'll have enough to, uh, you know, get your stealth kills for Toxic Vanish to proc again through Chain Vanish. But uh, if you feel like you need more, or you just want more, you don't like Caltrops, you can run a Smoke Bomb with Stealth Attack Damage, Cooldown on Kill, Munitions, and Lucky. Um, but we're running Caltrops. This will give us a nice chunk of Ghost Weapon Damage uh, when combined with our Enjos. Uh, and then I've got status duration on here again. The status effect duration of 30% mixed with our poison damage and our fire damage, that stuff is going to last forever, and everything's either going to melt or cook. It's unbelievable. Uh, you are going to have a tougher time killing stuff with your ultimate, but that's not what this build is designed to do. Um, and this is designed to clear an entire wave. Uh, once they reach a point in Nightmare Survival, it's it's honestly crazy. Um, <laughs> and once again, let me go ahead and give uh, take this time to give a shout out to Adam Bomb 1177 uh, because he released this build like I don't know a week ago, almost the exact same build, if not the exact same build. Um, again, great minds think alike. Uh, he just got to it before I, I I did in terms of posting it. I've been working a lot here recently, but um. Yeah, I wanted to test things and, and get it to where I felt like it was good enough for me to release in terms of all the uh, perks and properties. Uh, but again, a uh, huge shout out to him. Great Legends player. Great dude. Uh, I don't even think he really knows me, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> He's still a, a great Legends player and a great content creator. So uh, go and throw him a like and subscribe and all that stuff for Adam Bomb 1177 because uh, I believe he did post this build prior to me. Uh, getting a chance to do so now with that out of the way we'll cover the techniques real quick obviously we're running toxic vanish triple legendary with deadly nightshade so that our poison deals hp damage and with that out of the way we'll give you a very Which quick of demonstration of the build you? one of my favorites go ahead and show you cow traps. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and grab cow traps to show you what it looks like. great damage, but it's enough. He'll die just that kick. I can't even assassinate him, he died so fast. And there you have it. <laughs> Kill an entire spawn with one black powder bomb and toxic vanish the spirit kunai. Alright guys, that's going to be the build. Uh, it's incredibly powerful and extremely fun to play. Uh, I should have another build or two for the Assassin releasing soon, so stay tuned for that. I'll check in the next. The ghosts knew Peace. the challenge awaited them. Die, bitch!